Nancy, I would ask you the same question. Is this a matter of shared sacrifice, or what do you think this battle is really about? Really, great question. What is this about? I think this is about an ideological stance taken by this new breed of, of GOP governors, newly elected, that is not looking at the facts. A lot of people are talking about the unions and the unfairness of that, but what we're not talking about is the fiscal, I'll call fiscal stupidity of these moves. When you don't have jobs, when you have, businesses are sitting on trillions in cash right now. Businesses, he's, uh, Scott Walker's giving huge tax cuts to businesses. They don't have the demand. So to further cut people who can't afford to buy stuff is bad business. Now you mentioned Detroit in your setup piece. Something even worse, stupider in fiscal terms is going on in Michigan. We have a new Republican governor, Rick Snyder, who two days ago announced his budget. We had invested a bipartisan vote, almost unanimous, in the film industry two years ago. Huge movies are being made. Studios moved here. Everyone did what they were told to do. They reinvented themselves. They became, went to foot film school, laid off auto workers, single mothers, opened up every new business, prop shops, dog trainers, everything. He came in two days ago and killed that that cut that was promised till 2015 everything dried up in two days now is that good business to have buildings old factories that were turned into studios with hundreds of millions of dollars and because his ideology says government can't play a role in any of this thousands of people went to my website rickswrong.com and told their stories republicans and democrats that this is not about complexity as he says it's about jobs and scott walker's doing the same thing he's hurting the people of wisconsin the businesses in, in wisconsin because it's it, his ideology and he's going to do it damn the consequences.